Hello everyone, this is Clay Gamiao here. Uh, I'm at Neos Production Studios and I figured uh, today we could uh, go over some uh, techniques and this particular technique is uh, something that I use often in my plane and uh, a lot of people ask me what am I exactly what exactly am I doing um, because I have this uh, different uh, right hand technique. It sounds like a strum but it also incorporates a little bit of picking at the same time. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our right hand and we're going to only be using our pointer and our thumb. All right, so pointer and thumb. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign uh, certain strings on the ukuleles to one of these two fingers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our E and our A string and we're going to assign that to our pointer. And so our pointer finger is going to go up and we're only going to hit our E and the A strings. Just like that. All right, so uh, let's try to do it with me. So pointer, E and A going up. Good. So now we're going to take our thumb and we're going to assign the G and the C strings to this one finger. So our thumb is going to go down. All right, so one more time, down. Only the G and the C strings with your thumb. So, okay, so now we have signed uh, the strings to our fingers. So now we're going to have a pattern. So the pattern to this is going to start off with the upstroke with our pointer, followed by two downstrokes with our thumb. Remember now to only hit the two strings that we assigned to our fingers. So pointer finger going up, E and the A. Thumb finger or thumb going down, G and C. So it's going to go up, down, down, up, down, down, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, this technique, and we're going to hold our C major chord. So we take our, our, our ring finger, put it on the A string third fret, all right? And we're going to try this. We're going to do um, up, down, down four times, okay? So one, two, three, and up, down. Now to our F major, point your finger on E string 1st fret, middle finger on G string 2nd fret. Same pattern. Ready? Go. Up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Now to our G, our G major chord. And on the count of four, we're going to do this again. So one, two, three, and up. So as this gets a little easier for you, um, some of you it might be easier already. Uh, what you want to do is you want to increase the tempo in which you're going to be doing it. So the faster you do it, the more uh, the, it kind of the, the more different the the technique sounds as far as when you're playing it or using it when you're playing chords. For an example, just like this. What you can also do is you can add variation. You can go up, down, down, up, down. So just like that. That's why you know some of the. I think one of the songs that I do is called uh, Ukulele Fiddle. In the recording, I use that kind of pattern a lot. So I would do stuff like. So as you get as it gets easier, you want to add variation. So as long as you stay in the time signature or stay in tempo and change chords when you're supposed to, then it doesn't really matter what um, pattern you start off with. You can go with a downstroke or upstroke. Varied on very very eight this technique on how you feel comfortable. If you feel comfortable with it, with it, then try and add more variation to it next time. But uh, that's a quick tip and a quick uh, lesson on a, a right hand technique that I like to use a lot. This is Kalei Gamiao signing off, and I hope to see you soon. Keep on strumming.